July favourites for you. I know I didn't do a June favourites, but this is a kind of video that I think I only ever really want to do it when I really have found stuff that I really love. And I just hadn't really found a lot of stuff that I loved last month, so I didn't see the point in just doing a video for maybe like two things. So this month I have got a couple of other things that I want to show you. So let's jump straight into the products that I've been loving this month. My first product is a hair product, and I actually got this in my glossy box a couple of months ago and it was a full size product which I thought was awesome um, and it's the Paul Mitchell I think it's called Awafui Awafu Awafui I'm totally bodging that probably so sorry guys but it's the Wild Ginger Shine Spray and I really really like this um, I think it smells really nice it was a full size product it was quite expensive I think it's like £18 or something to get a full size product of this I think that's what glossy box said anyway but um, I really feel that as soon as I put it on my hair, I can see like an immediate shining condition. It's not like a long lasting product. It's, it's sort of just like an immediate effect that I see. And I really, really like this one. This is something that I've actually liked for the past couple of months now. Um, so now I finally get to put it in a favourites video. Sticking along the hairline, my next favourite um, is actually a hairbrush. And this probably does look absolutely huge. And it was kind of a random purchase. I was just in boots. And I was heading towards the till and I saw I walked through the hairbrush section and I just thought, you know what, I need a new drying um, brush. And I had a look at all of them, so I did no research. And generally I do quite a lot of research and look up reviews before I get something in case I really hate it. And oh my god, guys, I absolutely love this brush so much. It's by Goody Style and it is a ceramic brush. It said it was number two. In like the range you get like like kind of steps and they said this was step two um step one i use my tangle teaser while it's wet but this they say it helps dry your hair quicker i don't think i noticed it much with drying it quicker but how much smoother it was and how much nicer my hair looked and more conditioned and refined i was so impressed with this i really really love it i even love like just brushing with it normally i just i really really like this brush so much i just love it i can't like I'm just brushing my hair on camera now guys I just really like the look that it gives to my hair and I do think it shines it up immediately as well um I think it was about 11 or 12 pounds and I did get this for the medium to long hair but they did have slightly different size ones so um I was really impressed with it and I've had so many compliments on my hair and as soon as I've just like wash and blow dry my hair I feel really really happy to go straight out it doesn't feel too fluffy so that is actually probably my number one favourite of this month. I was super impressed by this. So that's that one. Body products. I've always got to have some body pro products in there. You guys know I'm obsessed with making sure that I've got the best skin that I possibly could have. And even though I love my N Spa Raspberry um, body butter, which I do still love and I do need to go and repurchase it because I don't know how many of those I've now gone through. Um, I saw in the body shop that they had a sale on and some of these went down to five pounds and this is the raspberry body butter it says 24 hour hydration so for me when i see 24 hour hydration i'm immediately drawn to it i really really love it when i see that something is really hydrating i've used quite a lot of it as you can see already this month it smells so good oh i just think it smells delicious it really this smells more raspberry like than my N Spa raspberry one. That doesn't smell quite so raspberry. I really like it as you can see and I have used up quite a lot of it and I will continue to use it. But, um, and it is good. But I know the full size price of these is something like £13 I think. I wouldn't spend £13 on it. I don't think it's good enough for it to be that. But I do really like it and for a fiver, I out, like for £5 I, I would be impressed with this. Um, it smells amazing. It does feel really, really nice. I don't know if it's 24 hour moisturising for my skin, but I am super dry. So for those people that have kind of normal skin and want a hydration, I am pretty confident that this would give you 24 hours of hydration. Staying alongside the skin line, I've actually got a fake tan and I do like fake tans. I don't buy them regularly. I'm not a fake. I don't like fake tan where you put it on and then you have to wait for it to develop because I always worry about what it's going to look like. I'm an instant fake tan kind of girl. I like it when I can see it immediately and then I can wash it off um, without having to think, oh my God, I'm going around looking like an Oompa Loompa or something if I've done a really, really bad job. And one of the things that I've loved now for the past sort of two months, 
but now that I've actually got a little bit of colour on my skin, I've started to notice that I probably need to go up a shade. Anyway, it is from Superdrug, and it's the Soleil Instant Bronzer for face and body. Um, this is in light matte, the wash off. And I just think this is amazing. It doesn't have the fake tan scent. It goes on so well. It's so easy to not create like any streaks or anything. Right at the beginning of kind of like spring when I started using this, I had a lot of people keep saying to me, like, oh my god, you've really caught the sun. It doesn't have any orangey undertone for my skin. It's amazing. And I have quite a quite a neutral um, undertone. I Slightly pinky, but more neutral. Um, and I just really, really like this. Now that I've got a little bit of colour and I put it on, it doesn't show up so well. So I do want to go and get the medium one, just to sort of deepen on my actual tan. But um, I really, really love this. It was like £2.60 something, but it was in the sale. But then yesterday I was in Superdrug and I saw it again for £2 something. I should have picked up a medium then, but I didn't. Um, and it was £2 something then on sale. It's so good. Doesn't smell fake tan. Doesn't transfer. I absolutely love it and I swear by this now. It is paraben free and it, they say it doesn't test on animals. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And for £2 something, it's amazing i just think it's such a bargain and such a steal i can't i can't actually recommend this enough i've even put it on my face as well just underneath my makeup and it doesn't really do too much but it just gives you that slight tint to take the edge off so um i think this going back to the light will be quite good when it's kind of autumn -y time um before winter when i just don't really bother putting any fake tan on so love this makeup time so my next um product that I really love. Now some of these products unfortunately you will have probably seen like in my eye mats haul. If you haven't seen that I will link that down below for you guys to check that out. Um, but And you will have seen this product raved by so many people but I was quite late to get this um, in the kind of blogging kind of YouTube beauty world. But it is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. If you haven't tried it I would be very surprised if many people that haven't tried it. It is amazing. I love it to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. I like it to make my eyeshadow look more pigmented. It just is so nice. I've used quite a lot of it up already. Um, I've used quite a lot of it saying that, but still, I haven't even had to sharpen it yet, and I've used it, I would say, pretty much every single day I've put makeup on, I've used it somewhere on my eyes, and I haven't even had to sharpen it. Although, I have cracked my lid. I always pushed down too far with um pencils i just did it again um but i really love this it was such good value this is something that i know because in the uk we can't get nix in our stores but you can get it online this don't hesitate to like buying it online to give it a go i really would recommend just getting some in fact um when i start sharpening this because generally when i find that i start sharpen things i really notice they go down a lot quicker um, I probably would actually buy a couple of these online, so I love that. Next on my makeup um, items is actually a makeup brush, and blending brushes for me is something that I think is so cru crucial to have in your makeup brush collection. I think it is really important to have one. It makes such a difference to your eye makeup, and this was from Crown. Now, I love this. It was £9, so I don't know how much it is um, if you buy it not at, like, an eye mats or some sort of, like, makeup show. Um, it's so soft. It picks up the colour really well, but not too much either, which is really good. It doesn't have a number on it, so they just called it the blending brush. But if you ha do have a little look online, it, it is kind of like an ombre effect brush, and it is quite a long and then, like, tapered one. So just... Um, have a little look for that. I Sorry, I can't be more help on it. I really, really, really like this. And I actually prefer it to my e.l.f. blending brush now. Um, I actually, I've noticed that I go towards this one more than my e.l.f. one. So that's why I thought I needed to include this in a favourite. Because I love it. My final item for this, again, was in my eye mat. So I'm really sorry if this seems a little bit boring. But I just wanted to, it's genuine. I really do love this. It's really disgusting. And it is, look at all this makeup on it. It is the, um... It was from the crown stand. It is the 28 eyeshadow palette and I have absolutely like annihilated this. Or right, you can see here that this I've already hit pan on this because that's the only thing. They're pigmented, but there is quite a lot of fallout, so I've noticed that I've actually gone through um so I'm going through some colors quite quickly. Um I really really like that. I've been using that to death. Even though it is quite big, I still carry it around with me when I go and stay at Dan's house. 
um so yeah so that's all of my favorites this month guys i really hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it um make sure you subscribe to my channel to check out more videos that will be coming up um i hope you're having a really wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys this scarf and i find it really hard